set this microphone closer to that patch. This is to try to get better audio to the camera from the display line that's right over there. So I'm putting this shotgun microphone out and uh, his, his vocalization is really loud so I know I'll get that but what I'm hoping is if he does a display that I'll be able to get better sounds of the uh, his wings. Say Russell. This is a male magnificent rifle bird. He's got this incredibly clear, powerful whistle that just carries great distances through the dense lowland forest where he lives. And here's a male black sicklebill. He also makes an incredibly loud, powerful sound from his courtship display territory. In both cases, the males are using these calls to advertise to females at great distance that this is their courtship display area. But they're also announcing their presence to other males who have territories nearby. And clearly, as you can see, both of these sounds are vocal, meaning that they are created with the same vocal apparatus that all birds use to produce sound. Their bill, their trachea, their syrinx. Another thing these two species have in common is that they both produce non-vocal sounds. That is, they make sounds with parts of their body that we don't typically associate with sound production. Let's check out how they do it. This is the male black sicklebill again. His non-vocal sound is a knocking. It sounds like a distant machine gun. From this view, you can tell he's not making that sound with his mouth. His bill is closed. But it's a little bit hard to tell where it's coming from and what's going on. Fortunately, on this day, we actually had two cameras recording at the same time. And what you can see from this other camera is that as he does this display, and he comes upright, he actually opens his wings across its back. It's a little hard to see what's going on there, but those are his wings, and those primary feathers are spread across the back. And as he lunges forward, he closes those wings across his back, and somewhere there, either between the feathers rubbing against themselves or perhaps against the base of the tail, that's where he's creating that non-vocal sound. So now we're looking at the male magnificent rifle bird. He makes his non-vocal sound in courtship display somewhat like the black sickle bill, but he does it in a very different way. As you can see, he's opening his wings up and he's moving his head from side to side. And when he's doing that, he's moving his wings. And that sound that you hear is being produced by the opening and closing of the wings. It sounds like a pronounced rustling. Another really cool aspect of this non-vocal sound is how directional it seems to be. Notice when he turns around, the sound gets louder. And that's because he's directing that sound towards the female. And in this case, it also happens to be directed towards our microphone. So it's picking up the sound as well. Although there's never been any good research on this, it's possible that the shape of his wings would have something to do with projecting that sound in the direction of where the female is. Almost like it's a, an amplifier or like a megaphone. What's cool is, is when we think back to the black sickle bill, he also seems to have this curved kind of megaphone aspect to his courtship display. And we know that the female, just like on the magnificent rifle bird, she also sits right in front of the male when he makes his knocking sound. So it's possible that both of these species have this directional element directing that non-vocal sound right where they want it to be, where the female is when she's watching their courtship displays. Clearly, both these species have extraordinary vocal sounds. But it's these non-vocal sounds that they make in their displays that really sets them apart from other birds of paradise. <laughs> 